it's not quite what they expected when they planned their trip to Cuba. They were seeking sun, sand, and music. Now tourists have found themselves in a nation in grief for the late Fidel Castro. A British couple says it was bad timing. Uh, it's been not very good for us. So... No alcohol. No alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we come on holiday and the main thing we do is we want to party, dance, drink, salsa, and uh, everybody at night time is in the house, you know, so it's not what we expected. We meant to go to Varadero uh, in a couple of days, uh, all inclusive, but now we have to move our hotel forwards so we can um, so we can drink and do the stuff and um, we've had to cancel our hotel in Havana and we, we'll go back later on after the funeral so that we can see the real Havana. A couple from Sweden seemed unfazed by the mass outpouring of grief for Castro. And I guess like <laughs> I don't know we have to it's the way it is. Yeah. Like a nation in mourning as Cubans bid farewell to the man who led the country's leftist revolution, ruled for half a century, and resisted the United States throughout the Cold War.